if you buy one. Those are words are basically the name for having one, two or three. Oh, Through a lifetime yeah. spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock yeah, this is pretty. to a lush landscape. I love this intro already. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. Hold on, I swear that something is burnt. Not the Miak again. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made okay, a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. All silence. Everything is gonna be your fault, isn't it? Let's finish recycling around the city, ending my day with the cherry shop and enjoy. You deserve it. It. People are suffering. Soon I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. No! And then. Not the fault. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. This is cheating, but you don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. That comes to nothing. Damn, this is even more realistic than the last time. Look at her hair. And her face. Oh, she is beautiful. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, this is like a tradition. I see you, number Elizabeth. Make me immortal. Yes, I am. Even I never played with you, Dave. Dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother.
<laughs> Good guess, though. And for a moment, I feel whole. I had all of them written for a GTA Vice City in a book. All these good days, indeed. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. I like her all more. <gasps> it's him! I forgot oh. your name! Mar! <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah, I used to go to a corner yeah. shop and look at the sheets in the magazine. Your honor. <laughs> I memorize them because I can not afford the magazine. I was so, saying with the Sims 4 cheat codes. What are we doing? The Sims 3 cheat codes. Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. Why are you After tracking? After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Oh no. Is he gonna die? Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. Oh, another focus. A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? information on the device we've got a lot to cover um i'll have to explain everything as we go you see like this all the time since i was a little girl come on Damn, this is beautiful. It's even better than the first one. Just kind of obvious, but I'm amazed. <laughs> Look at that grass, man. All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. Smooth. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. <coughs> It's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. 
Thank you, pigments. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. You have some new visions. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. It is complicated, actually. You're not wrong. Your, uh, no. Yeah, I am. Um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. <coughs> Damn that hair, girl. <laughs> Look at the hair. Okay, I stop. Sorry. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. <laughs> what happened to Cyan? Can't we just ask her to help? A lot of arrows in that machine. Okay, the game is look. a little bit struggling. Do you mind guys if I change to my PNG tuber? Because from my side, the game is really struggling. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? Silence. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. There's a ladder. But you can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Hold F to open the back of the end. Oh, they changed it a little Done. bit, but that's okay. Me too. Arrow's ready. And the one. Is there any voice work? And this should do other up quicker. That did it. After you. Up. I'm pretty sure it's silence. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. Whoa. The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. <laughs> oh. What is that thing? Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Stud machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its big spots. Got it. We have to fine. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? Oh. I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them? None of my Please best friends growing up on the India restaurant. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Huh. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Oh, I love them as well. Usually I get well, none and put it in the oven for a bit, in. but it's not the same. It was some of the best hanging out. Oh, I'm jealous. He had a modded PlayStation 2, so he was just games and free in the end. Damn. Hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. That must have been good. I guess it doesn't like me either. Climbing gear. Unless someone dropped in from above.
Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Hmm, that's a good question. I ordered twice from an Indian place oh, to add stench? food delivery service, but I waited like two, two and a half camp. hours Why and the not? food was like cold. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Ooh. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big. Came oh, from that's above. awesome. Rush right through the camp. Run through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. He said it was so when nice, we would go over for Christmas and we would just send out things. He bought it on my son, he didn't need it. the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. Ah, fresh Some number. Some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. Oh, new gear. It, hmm. it looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. They had a pretty big camp. They must have been here for a while. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe we can make something better. You could use this workbench. Oh. New system, okay. Caster. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. The pole caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a created better. Uh, how they have to I uh I see okay. here I should scan the area we have to find a way to keep going huh what's this thing for what's this activate let me blow my nose whoa good morning I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. 
Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. This didn't turn up much. I better scan. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Oh, little leggy. You can get put this jump in. Ah, okay. Nice try, though. Damn. Wow. That was smooth. That works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Me. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Oh my god. Drop the ladder for Varl. Oh, there. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. What? Yeah, I did not expect that storyline. There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Shinbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong and it blew up. Hmm. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction, a state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements, and you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. 
Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Well, yeah, I don't blame them. Didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. This should be stored in there. Wait, are we going to space? <laughs> that would be kind of crazy. Don't think so. That would be a weird plot twist, but oh well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep your guard up. I don't like that. Oh, my guard is up. Up here. <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Quietly, I'm not sure if I can do that. Moving up. Oh, fire. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Sheesh, maybe someone is still alive. Or not. I'll keep this for later. Guess that I would not emotionally recover from a lady. I like seeing that. Yeah! <laughs> Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. Oh. Ah, there. I see. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow Just yourself up. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can use this. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it I looks see. like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. And I'm, I'm the, I would be the same pigments if someone I like would tell me. Like, okay. Oh, you look ugly, basically. Should have what I need to craft a trap. Like, bruh. There. Explosive trap made. Nice. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Hi, Trophy. Hello there. Over here. Aloy, I think I see a way what? up. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it. Mm. This data... Text log. High Council Executive Summary. It was installed in my head as a necessity. I reported the picture of what I made. Oh, let's see.
Damn, Tropic, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, invite us. What do you mean? Like, duh. It looks really good. Good job. So let's see what's this message about. Yeah, they look so good. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded and I am ex exceptionally pleased that we are arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt, in contrast to the last act for recommendation of certain of our more reactionary members. In short, Farzanit will provide a copy of the prototype Homer Archive already sent, 500 ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage at our Nima facility, supplementary ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, Farzanit will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch. By our estimate of Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Sabek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand, making it clear that this was a non negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team while blah blah blah. mentions the tech that Farzin has traded with Zero Dawn. That doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Hmm. <laughs> We are freezing and sent to you all. <laughs> I don't know about like them. We've gotta climb up. I would love to spend my time in a beach in Spain. Doing nothing but sleeping. I'm chilling in the water. Falling apart. Oh, well, no pigments, no. Old. Not allowed. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. There is more to do than sleeping. I'm Long sure. Time. Terraforming system. I would the definitely walk around the Elizabeth cities and Sobek, explore them too. Powered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One: Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase Two: The asset will secretly be cast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks: Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. Hmm. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Hey, Elena. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? If I would be brave enough Why to travel alone, I would like definitely you? travel this summer. Uh, um, it's okay, Pro. We. And if I would travel like. <laughs> because we're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born, I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. 
I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Poor Varl. This is a lot for him. Look at that. Aloy, over here. Hmm? I found what? something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. Easy. We should keep moving. After you. Blasting such bombs that affect large areas. Okay. Mm, I hear, have a feeling that you're gonna need that soon. Down here. Even though I'm still lagging. Oh. Oops. I refuse to change the graphics. <clears throat> I think we're almost back outside. Good. What the fudge? It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. Great. Indeed. Day one, we descended into the valley and breached the ruins. Boss always had a good sense for dive sites, and by the forge was he right. This place is untouched. Had to knock down a few machines while we were moving our gear. Pesky things keep popping out of the ground, but otherwise we've got the whole places to ourselves. Set up camp near the main entrance. Farif nearly jumped out of his skin when he dropped his hammer and it went uh, clenching down the stairs. Kids first twelve, I recall, even if he swears otherwise. He's lucky this was above ground at least. Day two. Pushed further into the ruins, boss tested out his latest prototype what he's calling a hook and pull name needs work if you ask me i showed faroof a simple trick to evaluate salvage the less it's rusted the higher a price it will fetch in meridian all in all a good day until he insisted he saw the trees shaking across the river kids jumpier than a frog on hot coats Holes. day four fat a deep rumble in the dead of night lunch shake maybe but it's got the whole crew on edge Boss ordered half of us set up a second camp further in. Figures we will pick this place clean faster if we split up. No arguments there. Think I will set up a training dummy for Faroof. Kid can barely hold his own against the burrower. Day 6. Only a few of us left. Kid didn't make it. Machine busted him with acid at the river crossing. Can hear it slithering outside. Few more minutes rest. Then we are going to make a run for... Well, that didn't work out very well for you. Awesome. Machines tore right through them. Oh. Oh, two of them. Awesome. Three of them. Nice and laggy. Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osram, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. 
convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? I'll figure it I'm out. hearing your piece of here. from here. Aloy. Trust me. Thank you, Choppy. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make. Yeah. The one out of the other. The shuttle console might be in there. those machines down below oh my god I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Oh, well, thank you for the elevator. Now, how to get up the tower? Waiter, waiter, elevator. My focus could help here. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. your family ah. am there. I at the right place there's the other connector I have a feeling that this whole tower is gonna go with us oh come on was I really that easy oh the leg is real Um, yes. Great landing. Nothing that meaning. Have you met with some friends too? Okay, I don't know what I read instead Finally. of cook. Dinner's like a much like half game before going. I like to be more busy with family, so two of them. Bobby was the one. Part of what? The data center should be straight ahead. <laughs> I guess Farrell's oh. gonna have to find another way there. Ay ay ay. It wasn't bad. Nice floating piece of art. No, 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 nothing. You will never know. I'm just tired, I guess. Then don't test. <laughs> no 
Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight. I don't think it's gonna be that easy, Eloy. But is it still there? I don't want to disappoint you, but I think we're gonna have to go to the Forbidden West. On the matter of Mr. Dargard, he's been a valuable member of Farzanit for years. Even Peter saw the need for a Polish spokesman to preserve anonymity for the rest of us. But with all the new members we've recruited to increase funds for the Odyssey's expedition timeline, there are simply not enough birds on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made, and let's face it, Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. He will retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we will have to give him a proper send-off. But that doesn't mean that his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet, giving us the means to blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he liked that you just ditched him. Please be here. Here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Oh, Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A far as in conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of what is happening? With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you. Thank you. Thou shalt not steal super advanced terraforming system. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Jeez, this guy. for it's nothing but a fake <laughs> the Totoro one and the Chihiro something I think in English is spirit away yes Bring it to the way, I, I think that's what it's called. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The what is, is too um, good? There's going to be more of that. The throne I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast. And whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. 
This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay, I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. Oh, we're not gonna walk, we're gonna ride on striders. Let's go. Wait, those are not striders. Oh, look at him! <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, there are no horses in this world yet. He's doing good. Yeah, this game is beautiful. We back at Meridian and we are back at lagging. Guys, I gotta turn off the graphics or lower the graphics if we wanna enjoy That's the cutscenes because this is. This is very sad. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. Oh? I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Well, I've been not going to enjoy the prettiness for so long. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. I don't know what kind of PC should I have to be able to play these kind of games. And I thought I have this, I have a strong PC. What is that statue of Aloy? What the fuck? <laughs> One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. Oh, we left no. everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. Yeah, but Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I'm sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Well, what I've seen is not the game, but the fact you're also using a streaming software. Let us know like what OBS. you find. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. You have a point. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Hopefully, if I'm gonna have the could double setup, happen. that could help. Transmission complete.
Oh boy, how am I gonna go up? So, my plan is to get a capture card. Probably you're not gonna have me to set up things. Uh, maybe I can jump to that huh? ledge behind me. Huh? Oh. You have to move the car to the party without touching. Oh, that's useful. You know? So, like, my avatar and OBS would run from my laptop. Should be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. So... That could help. Oh, I have to hold hold control. But uh the capture card is really expensive, so I don't know. Oh what did that be to equip? Oh, I see. Hold on. My podcaster can't reach that from here. I mean I should be able to pull that crane closer. Ah, I see. over to the spire should be able to get up there now should I I thought silence was helping me when he gave me his lance looks like he tricked me he transmitted something through the spire did he save Hades why would he do that well, if I can he's stupid he sent it I can track him down Hopefully the transmission node at the top will tell me. Oh, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Am I going in the wrong direction? Huh? Looks like this yes. panel's a jar. Can I go up through the inside? Uh. That's a big jump. Or not, actually. An elevator? Let's see. What is this? There's the note. I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those guy backups you've been having such a hard time finding? 
If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, Art. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Bro, oh, shut up. You wouldn't be anywhere without me. It, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. The way you two attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Hmm. I knew he would come. Aloy, oh no. It's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Who's it? Vanasha. Quick. Uh -huh. Hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? I love these two. It's a cool looking spear, not gonna lie. Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I do want to talk with them. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. There should be a workbench around here I can use. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. Mm. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger, but it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. Tanakh territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? 
Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. I can see why. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakhs like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Oh, just like today, it is special because of the guest. <laughs> oh, he I really likes to just outside Baron Light. <laughs> compliment the Eloy. The and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Fashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. Oh no, let it, no, forget it. Murad keeps that I throwing asked. noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. <laughs> you make it sound easy. I... I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you, or hold you back, but I need to know, when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay? But long enough for us to spend time to get oh to my God. properly, perhaps. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, Ella looks like she wants to leave as soon as possible. Yes, we need her an option. <laughs> yeah, like, can I just run away awkwardly? 
Oh boy. I Have you used the heart of Shin again? Thought. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I. I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. Well, I mean, I like Avad. So, it's not like that, but he was like very straightforward, but Ella was like, I am not interested in bro. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Ooh. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Oh, he's cute. And say he's not. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Well, you didn't know them. Yeah, there was someone else somewhere. There are a lot of exclamation marks. Looks like a memorial. Huh. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Let's see. I do wanna start to go to the Forbidden West before I end stream today, so that's the main goal. Where is Erend though? I don't like his mustache, but he was also a good guy. There. The workbench. You two bickering couple. Both it. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I have... No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Oh, I have friends. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At <laughs> least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. 
The side is mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were <laughs> talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has Captain it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Did you hear about that collapsed tunnel? Sounds so dangerous. Done. Master override installed. You had to bring it up, huh? Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator should help in a fight. Oh, <coughs> this is how I planned going down, but. Punch up. Damn. Okay, that's kind of cool. Is that the time, or do you want to chat some more with your friends? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Is she gonna leave Varl hanging? Or is she really gonna rest? I knew it. Oh my god. Something about this. Oh, I'll make my friend. No matter, no matter what I try. Bunny. Bunny. 
not fallen. It's so annoying. I'm even getting chased. My buddy again! Reminds me of Red Dead Redemption too, <laughs> a little bit. Based on what I've seen. No. I haven't. I don't have neither of the games. So I haven't. to get around <laughs> is that how i get to baron light uh yes i mean usually but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. <laughs> well, but then who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, so there's pretty a man. stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. 
He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. Hmm. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy, you know, the savior of Meridian. Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. Oh, this scene is incredible. Yeah, I came it here was. for the embassy at Baronlight. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious Wadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. <laughs> yeah, said so they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge? To wait in safety? Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? <laughs> That's right. Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? Oh. You got it. I will find Erend and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light, Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. <laughs> oh. Also, they it. improved the facial but expressions a lot too. Like all the nuances. By mandate of Commander Nazar, all residents of the town are hervied in front of the following. The gates between Baryan Light and No Man's Land are hereby ordered shut and sealed in expectations of the imminent embassy. None are allowed passage either way until further notice. No exceptions will be made regardless of clan, house, or tribe. Based on previous grievances and misunderstandings, let it be clear that no exceptions will be made for the Osaram either. Any outstanding arrangements made pertaining to passage are hereby declared postponed or void depending on the nature and timing of the arrangement. No exceptions will be made. Again, to eliminate any doubts should they remain, all of the above pertains to the Osaram regardless of circumstances, excuses or so-called binding contracts. Any complaints and or restitution lift, if at all applicable, can be addressed to Captain Lavan, my second in command. Okay. Damn. That the savior. Wanna come in, savior? So pretty. I wish I could play without lying. <laughs> Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jorf's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. 
Petra. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... <laughs> and we got kidnapped. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our prop. The bristlebacks are everybody's prop. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Oh, Holy cannoli, this place looks awesome. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. Took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. Ah, not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh. My apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the oven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. 
<laughs> so I suppose Petra is here somewhere. Where? That might be a good question. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Hmm. Have some manner. Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. You. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stop by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. Oh, He's sorry. He's been up the workers since the day he rolled into town. I think I'm gonna probably stop people actually after this conversation. Him. Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. <sighs> I thought you'd be back in Free Heap. Well... After the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front mm, claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Mm. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Guess you're gonna have Figures to do something he about the that. Pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. Yes. Oh, hi. We are on the same side here, Olvind. 
The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the Karja who let the bristlebacks into the valley. What do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. <sighs> Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Oh, Old please. Friuld, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Yeah, I don't like him. Best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble, ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. Burden of leadership? Oh, nothing, that's bullshit. While demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. He's a hero, yeah. You know concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Uh-huh. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I so you did saw its potential when it was just I a see. smattering of tents in Baron Light Shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not I just standing them. around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there. But my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Ah, typical. Mm. Typical. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town. But with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. 
Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. That mine will be no. the death of all. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Holden keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast to chain scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you.